another one. All right, so this one says, first QA in a fast-growing tech company. So I start a job next month as the first QA person in the entire company. The tech team is quite small, about 20 people. And from, our, from a tour of the company and their operations, they really don't have much documentation and only do brief manual testing on the software. So does anyone here have good advice that they could give me to really make an impact straight away? My plan is to figure out the whole workflow of the company and learn the system really well. Then I will start creating templates for testing bugs and centralizing all documentation for this in one location. After getting the hang of testing stuff manually and documenting it, I will need to create an automated testing framework along with a CI environment. This will run regression tests and smoke tests on the software. The other thing, I plan on doing is to look at how the tools used can be integrated more effectively. Other than this, I'm not quite sure that what I could be doing. Thanks in advance. Great question. So, this is um. Number one, five minutes up. All right. Number one, you sound like you have a good um, a good plan in place, actually, right? It's a very good plan in place. And um, not too much to add to this, right? I would say you being the first QA person at the new company or at, at the small company, it's going to be really, really tough on you because you're not only going to be QA you are going to wear many hats. And if anybody um, who's in the chat has worked at a startup, I'm pretty sure you can, um, you can, you can um, testify how many hats you have to work, uh, how many hats you have to wear when you are working at a, sm a very small startup company, right? You might be doing QA. You might be doing deployments. Um, you might be doing some sort of um, DevOps. You might, be doing, uh, you might be doing some coding. You might, who knows what you might be doing, right? I've heard of companies where like the, 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 the CTO is right there along the developers writing the code and stuff like that, right? So it's tough. So you have, a, you have very good initiatives, but I don't know if um, in the time frame that you're going to be able to get to most of these things, right? Because especially when you're starting up, you're trying to move fast so you can start bringing in revenue so you can be self-sufficient. So you're going to um, have to move fast. So I would say definitely start getting your documentation in place, right? Having a way to document, getting good test cases, right? So when you do get to start automating, you have you know exactly what you need to do. Always staying up to date. Um, I think the CI CD pipeline is going to be very useful. Um, but I don't I don't know if you'll be able to make that impact straight away, you know because. It's a lot of wrapping up to do or of ramping up to do so much, so much that you're going to have to do. Um, and things in small companies, they change quickly. You have to adjust. You might find yourself answering calls for clients and all that good stuff. Right. Because like you said, it's a small company trying to get it off the ground. Right. And if, it, if, if you don't get off the ground, then you might be going out of business and we don't want that to happen. Right. So, you know, like you said, um, creating templates for testing bugs and, I mean, it's good for you to create a template, although you're going to be like the only the only person who's testing bugs, I suppose, because if you're the only QA there. But um, it's a good it's a good way to build for the future, to build the foundation. And I would say definitely look into getting a test case management system. That'll be very useful for having your documentations, your test cases all in one location for when you report bugs. Those bugs can be tracked in there and then developers can go in there and they can resolve those bugs from there. Uh, I wouldn't say like putting them all over the place. You know, maybe you're using Jira or something. That would be a good option. And then after you get the hang of testing stuff manually and documenting it, start creating an automated framework. Yeah, that's 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 essential for you to do to create an automated framework. Um, set up your CI/CD environments. Um, okay, yeah, run regression tests, smoke tests. Very good, very good. Um, the other thing I plan to do is looking into. 
how these tools can be integrated more efficiently. Uh, I'm not sure which tools you're referring to, but um, but that like just being more effective, and being more efficient. That's always going to be your goal as a QA engineer. Um, so definitely look into that. Um, see what you can do. Right. So that I mean that's you have a pretty good plan in place. Um, not much more to add to that. So shout out to you. If you enjoyed the fascinating information shared in this video and you want more, be sure to hit the subscribe button to Tech Coach Ralph to be notified for new videos.